So today seems like a good day to dye pine needles. So I've used one bottle of this Cocoa Brown Rit Liquid Dye. And I'm using a roaster pan that I got at a secondhand store. I've added the dye and I've added about four quarts of water, one cup of pure vegetable glycerin, and I'm going to add enough pine needles. Now these are dried outside and they're kind of brown green. I'm going to add those in and let them sit for about oh 20 minutes or so and then I'll check them and see what the color looks like. Um, hopefully I get a nice rich brown. We shall see. I'd like to make a turtle basket with brown pine needles. So we'll see how it goes. I'll check back with you shortly. Hi, Virginia again with Jenny Lee Gems. This is a test, so it's been about 20 minutes. As you can see, I put them in a pot. This is a roaster oven that I picked up at a garage sale or secondhand store, I can't remember. I have it at about 250. And I have these little, this roaster oven came with these little uh, separate food bins and I use them just to weigh down the pine needles because they tend to float at first. And they are hot, so I take them out with my big spoon I got at the dollar store. And here's the color that they are looking. Now this dye looks like a really dark brown, a cocoa brown, and the needles are coming out a little brown, but I would like them darker. So, what my teacher Susanna Colby taught me was to let them cook for about a half hour, then, now here's in the sun. You can see they're not very dark, but the caps are pretty dark. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off now, and I'm going to turn the heat off, put these back on, and let them just soak overnight, and then we'll check in. Now this again is what I'm using, Rit Dye, and I like the liquid, it mixes better, and pure vegetable glycerin oil. And I do one bottle of the dye and about a cup of the glycerin and about four quarts of water, just so at least the needles are all covered. Now, I've also been told or I've read online that this a certain type of dye is better, this dye more. See where it says dye more under writ? I never noticed that until someone said it on the group. So I haven't dyed blue yet, but I'll try it later. I'll check in tomorrow after I've left them sit overnight. Okay, it's the next day and I'm checking these pine needles. They've set overnight. I turned off the pan so they're not heating all night, but they stayed warm and they look the color that I want them, a nice cocoa brown. So I'm gonna just pull them out. I like to let them drain a little bit. Cause I'm gonna put another batch in. And I'll get a lighter brown in the next batch, I assume. Um, it's always kind of trial and error, but I'll go ahead and pull them out. Kind of let them drain, make sure to use gloves. Then we're gonna take them down and rinse them. I like to rinse them outside so that I don't get the bathtub all messy. I'll show you in a minute what that looks like. Okay, here we go. I've moved the needles to outside. You could see the color. The sunlight is the best 
judge of color. There's lighter and dark browns in there, but I really like it. I like the cocoa brown. That's kind of what I was trying to get. So let's see what they look like when I rinse them. So I have a little tray here ready that I'm going to let them drain on. And then I'll lay them just flat to dry. Luckily, we have some sun here in the northwest today. So it's nice and warm and hopefully they'll dry after I rinse them. Now see, we're losing a lot of color. And that happens. But I'll go ahead and rinse them. If I don't like the color, I'll put them in overnight. But it's looking pretty good. There's quite a bit of brown. So I'm just going to rinse them a little more. Let them drain. You're supposed to rinse until they run clear. Now, sometimes you can have some type of a rack that you could rinse them on. I don't have all that stuff, so I just got to do it the easiest way I know how. But look at the bottoms came out really cool. If you want to leave the little caps on, these would be a nice color for that. So I did get some brown in here. I'm going to keep the other pot. And I'm going to do another dyeing of another set of needles. And I'll probably get a lighter brown even. You see, these are kind of rinsing out in here. So I put about 8 ounces. I think this is about 8 ounces of needles in. Because you don't want it too crowded in the pot. So the green ones looks like they stayed kind of green. But. I'm going to rinse these a little bit, move them around, and then we'll lay them in the sun to dry. Or maybe not in the sun. I don't want to lose color. I'll, I'll lay them in the shade. Thanks for watching. So I've let these cocoa browns sit on the tray a little bit with some napkins underneath or paper towels, something to let it drain on. And then I just lightly rinse them again. A little more color came out. So now I put them in this strainer I have from the dollar store and just kind of stand them up and let them drain. Just let them drain a little bit before I lay them they out. They're drying. There's still some green in there. The caps look really nice and brown. But there's some darker brown, a little bit of green, lighter brown. They do kind of look cocoa colored. We'll let them keep drying and check on them in a little bit.